and why we use a digital newsletter so basically this will help us to do a drag and drop thing right first thing second thing how many viewers have watched our uh, newsletter and third thing is that it gives us an opportunity to do a analytics that if in case you are not meeting to the uh, criteria that you no know, so and so users are not reaching to the so and so related content right so that time you can work on the next newsletter and you can you know based, come up with a new solution in upcoming newsletter and we have the fourth last one uh, which will really helpful for you to get the more and more templates which is offered by microsoft 365 itself right these are the templates you can free to use it cool while creating a resume blog uh, student report resume so and so forth or maybe and you can you know create your portfolio as well if in case you need it yeah now we'll, we'll begin with a very uh, layman and a beginner scale right where we are not leveraging any template for now however we'll definitely take a help of copilot which is this right microsoft bing copilot which is again a part of chat gpt and uh, which gives us an uh, ample amount of data from here okay with the help of copilot we can draft our sway and design our sway basis or designing skill and uh, edited this is the section now viewed how many views viewers have seen that uh, particular link which we gonna share with them right after creating this newsletter so we can see that section over here analytics so this is the analytics average completion how, how many times they have seen right total views so and so forth deleted if in case you created a quarter one quarter two uh, newsletter and uh, if you don't want to continue that you can definitely delete that from the cloud yeah with the help of this uh, simple delete it automatically add this to the uh, this deletion section and as mentioned by microsoft office 365 sways in the recycle bin are automatically deleted after 30 days okay so post 30 days you will not see that document over here start from topic you can definitely add a topic over here and create a outlines basically and basis that outline you can definitely create that but i'll not leverage this for now okay again it's an up powered by wikipedia so definitely you can use this and this information um we can rely on because this information is based on wikipedia so definitely you can uh, rely on this information right and you can create a outline but i would recommend you know use the copilot okay which is again office 365 recommended copilot and you will get a variety of uh, latest um information about the template which you are creating cool so i'll just do a cancel over here start from document if in case you have created any kind of a pdf you can definitely upload that and that pdf will automatically redirect into the different different sections but again you need to do a here and there and you uh, lift just, and shift kind of mechanism you need to do it but instead uh, of that you know i would recommend create from scratch okay either create from create new or maybe create new from here 